Contestant number 16, Pranita Sri Rajmohan Mahalakshmi. <laughs> Art. Art. Pranita Sri Rajmohan Mahalakshmi. Greetings, guests. Now, based on my appearance, what do you think my hobby is? Do I look like someone who sings and dance? Or someone who reads books and plays sports? If you've guessed art, yes, you are right. Give yourselves a pat in the shoulder. You guessed it. I draw during my free time. You might ask me, how did I find this passion? Well, let me tell you. It was a blessing in disguise. It all started in that one day when my mom confiscated my phone for one week. I was bound to find a hobby. So I picked a pen and gave art a go. I drew something and I was proud of it. I took the paper and I went, Mommy, look at my drawing. Is that a hippo? A hippo. I was flabbergasted. I thought it was obvious. It was clearly a beautiful portrait of my own mother. <laughs> How could she ever say that? I mean, I did make a few, few, few proportional errors. But I thought it was so clear. However, look at the bright side. It was a journey that kick-started my experience on art. I started taking slow steps to hone my realistic drawings. But then, as a child, I grew bored of it. I mean, like, be honest. Who want to see the same few drawings again and again? So, I started surrealism. Have you ever questioned yourself? Does trees have to be green? Why not purple? Why not polka dotted? If you have, you should give surrealism a go. It breaks you free from the shackles of reality and lets you drift in your own imagination. Personally, I feel like it enriches my creativity and builds up my patience. On top of that, I feel like art is my source of therapy. You see, I can draw all emotions I have in that one piece of paper. If I'm mad, I'll draw something mad. If I'm sad, I'll draw something sad. And there's nobody to judge it. This is why I find so art something I like. Well, not only that, the process you catch me singing my favorite tune, swaying my feet, and talking to myself. Who knows, I might start my own YouTube next. Well, this is the process of what you call hobby. Remember, art isn't just all about creating, 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 no. It's about sharing too. You take it, you show to your loved ones, mom, look at it, friends, look at it. Their reactions, that's important too. So now I advise you, go grab a pen or a pencil, anything, give art a go. A scribble, maybe. Picasso level drawing, hopefully yes. So, just try it out, heed my advice. So if you do, next time, if someone comes to you and asks you, what is your hobby? Say, it is art. Thank you.